Hi friends, Bryce from Bloodline Adventures and today we're gonna to be talking about the most simple but hands down the most important part when it comes to catching fish. So whether you're an amateur, professional, a novice, just beginning, or maybe you've yet to tie your first fishing knot, here's two of them that you can use to double, triple, or even quadruple your chances of catching fish and having a much funner day on the water. So here we go. Now, before we get going too far, let me set something straight. This is not a video on what kind of fishing line to use. If that's something that you would like to know, let us know in the comment box down below and we'll save it for another future video. But this time we're focusing on what you're putting at the end of it, because if this isn't right, nothing else matters. Step one, select your fish hook. Today, we're gonna to be using this F-bomb from Lucky Bug Lures, a nice noisy fish hook for pike or walleye. And step two is select your line. For this example, we're gonna be using this nice bright green monofilament, I think it's a 25 pound test line, but we're gonna be using this just so it's easy to see on camera. All right, so the first knot we're gonna learn is something called the single fisherman's knot. Probably the most common knot on the water, chances are you're using it already. The knot is the exact same whether you're tying off to a swivel or tying off to a leader, or if you're tying off directly to the fish hook itself. In our case, we're gonna tie off directly to this crankbait so it's easier to see. The next thing you're going to do is swivel the fish hook or the leader or whatever you're tying off to to get these little loops, uh, twists in the line. We're gonna use these twists to help us build strength. Seven or eight twists is usually good. And then you take the leading end of your line and you put it directly through that bottom loop. Okay, pull it tight, dress your knot. Don't forget to trim your excess, clean your knots up. And there you have it, a single fisherman's knot ready to go. Very, very strong, very durable knot. If you can master that knot, you're gonna have absolutely no trouble whatsoever with the second one. However, before we get that far, let me just say this. If you're a hunter or a fisherman or a fisherwoman, or if you're just passionate about the outdoors like we are, consider clicking that subscribe button down below. I know it takes less than half a second, but it means the world to us as we're trying to grow our channel so that we have the opportunity to do more product reviews. And the people that brought you this now bring you these. Now we're taking them fishing. More giveaways, do more full length feature films. If you haven't had a chance to check out our library yet, head on over because I guarantee you, you're gonna find something that you're gonna like. Now, here's knot number two. Okay guys, knot number two, the double double fisherman's knot. Grab your fish hook, feed the line through the loop at the end, do the same thing, put some twists in it, seven or eight. Hit us up in the comments if you feel you should use less or more. Now, just like we were tying a single fisherman's knot, I'm gonna put the line through that hole at the bottom, but here's the step that makes a difference between the single and the double. As you're tensioning this line, you notice this other loop that comes available as we're tightening it. Take your line, feed that line back through the other opening to give you two loops, two knots, tighten that knot down, dress it up. There you have a double fisherman's knot. And I'm telling you, that knot is virtually bomb proof. Trim your line, very important before you start casting this to give this a little tug. And there you have it, a single fisherman and a double fisherman's knot. If you can master those two knots, you're set. Well, that's gonna pretty much do it for us on this one, guys. Thanks for stopping by and checking out two simple knots that you can use to catch more fish. Hit us up in the comment box down below. In the meantime, here's a couple videos that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. I'm Bryce from Bloodline Adventures saying, We'll see you on the water.